Hi there everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about Zoho WorkDrive and what is advantage of installing it. If you want a true Microsoft Office alternative where you do not need to pay for subscription, I'm gonna give you a certain amount of cloud space, then Zoho Office can be your go-to product. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this video, I am going to talk about Zoho WorkDrive. So as we all know, Zoho provide excellent Microsoft Office alternative in terms of Zoho Writer, which is alternative of Microsoft Word. And similarly, we have Excel and PowerPoint counterpart. Now, if you want all these software at one place installed in your system, then we can install Zoho WorkDrive. Zoho WorkDrive not only allow you to collaborate with your colleagues, but also give you option to create documents, spreadsheet, as well as presentation. So let's see how we can download and install it. Okay, so now here you can see I am in my computer screen and let's quickly type Zoho Drive. And there we go. So here you can see Zoho Work Drive is there and we can directly jump into Zoho Work Drive installation link. Now this particular guide is specific for Windows, but what if you are using Mac? So let me actually go back and basically this is the actual link from where you can download it. Not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide you the direct download link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page. Now from here, based on the OS you are using, you can choose. Now in my case, I am using Windows. So I'm going to click here on Windows and then here I need to accept terms and condition. And there we go. So we can see the download has begun. And then um, here, not only it is available for Mac, but they are also kind of working for Linux, which is still in progress, but that doesn't mean that it is not available. You still can have a bit earlier version available. Now, let me quickly go back since we already have downloaded the Zoho Sync installer. Now I will simply make a single click on it. And there we go. So here we can see the process of installation has begun and it is downloading certain file from internet. So let's wait for a while. And there we go. We have successfully installed Zoho work drive in our system. Now, if you have not signed up for Zoho, I would suggest you to quickly sign up because sign up is absolutely free. And actually you can also use your Google or LinkedIn account to sign in. Now, let me choose my Google account here and same probably I'm going to also use uh, here in the app. Okay, so this is my work drive look like. Now, let me actually open it offline through the app. Now, here also I'm going to repeat the same thing. I am going to click on sign in and if in your case you have not created an account, simply click here on create a work drive account and simply do sign in. Now again, uh, here is my Zoho, Zoho work drive. Let me click on sign in. And now I need to use my Zoho account. And now I can click on start sync. Now let's close this. And here, if I write Zoho, I should be able to see my Zoho work drive true sync. Uh, which will show you like this. So it is just like work drive and you're gonna see one more drive being added in your system. And it looks so, uh, you know, real, like you are using actual drive. Now, let me talk about uh, one good thing about when we use the Zoho work drive is that now when you go here in notification, you can click on new and here you have got option to create Zoho sheet, Zoho show and Zoho writer. Now let's click here on Zoho sheet and now I'm going to give it a name. Uh, and then here you can see the location of the Zoho sheet is inside work drive to sync my folder. Now probably I can create a folder. Um, maybe I can create it here. I'm going to say my sheets. Okay. Now it will take some time to sync up. And now it is synced. So probably I need to go back again. And now here I can see my seat and let's click OK. So what here I did is I am creating new seat up inside my work drive. 
and then I just inform that where I would like to save now here we go here you have got the Zoho seat and I am pretty sure that the working style is going to be simple as it is and in case of spreadsheet I am pretty sure that it is almost same as what we see in case of Microsoft Excel with some added feature for example if we talk about images in cell you will only get with the latest version of Microsoft if you have like 2019 or 2021 probably I do not remember exactly if 2021 also allow image in cell but uh, you will see some of the latest features now are available inside the Zoho drive and not only you're gonna get these advanced features but uh, when you go here in tools you can see here the Zoho sheet also let you create new macro so that I would say is really nice now let me actually create a home calculator so for that I am selecting these number of rows and then I'm gonna click on merge and center now I'm gonna say home expense calculator so that's to show you how it works and I think I am finding it like I am in home pretty straight as there is no learning curve and experience and the UI of sheet especially is almost similar to what we generally see in case of Microsoft Excel however as I said there are certain advanced charts looks are different here and I would say cover almost all the charts that Microsoft Excel have now there is a AI tool also available named Zia which probably going to help you out with the things okay now apart from writer and seat we also do have zoho show so let's click here on zoho show and again here you can choose which folder you want to save your presentation and then you can click ok and there we go so we are just launching zoho show and here we have got plenty much of template available to quickly start with so I have chosen this one and the good thing here is this entire platform is free like I didn't saw any particular template where it is written premium so it is written premium so that's really nice I mean you can really utilize the capability of Zoho show without paying a penny so I can write it welcome to Zoho show now let me add another slide and then it also support layout where you can change your layout not only you can change your layout but you can also edit your master slide if you see here on the right hand side you have got option to make modification on templates as well which i would say is quite powerful and gonna give you almost all the options that we generally see in case of microsoft powerpoint and that too for absolutely free guys now let me actually go once again back to zoho work drive and here you can see with free tier you're gonna get 5 gigabyte of data which is i would say equal to what you're gonna get in case of microsoft now if you go back to zoho work drive and if i click on pricing here we can see the different different plans available the starters start with 140 rupees per user per month that gonna give you certain amount of space for example here you're gonna get one terabyte of space so still i think in a way zoho work drive is still oriented toward the business users and currently they only offer five gigabyte of data for personal uses which I am expecting they might going to change it soon that's all guys from my side in this video I hope that you find this video helpful and informational and if you have got any feedback or comment or you want to share your opinion regarding Zoho work drive please feel free to share with us in comment down below I am very excited to see those comments also if you like this video please consider like and subscribe to technoholic plus such that you do not miss any productivity video from our side and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye